who's excited for the Lego movie? I am. I think Lego is one of many people's favorite childhood toys, so I'm here to show you a perfect set of nail art that you can wear to watch the movie, or just to relieve childhood memories. As usual, you'll need to apply base coat before you start and top coat for later. Starting with the thumb, paint it a nice sky blue. Then using two coats of yellow polish, paint the bottom half of the nail in yellow and add a stroke in the middle as the Lego knob thingy for the Lego man's head. Then using a small dotting tool dipped in black polish, dot in the eyes. And using a nail art brush or a striper brush in black, paint on the mouth by painting a shallow U shape and filling in the bottom to make an open mouth expression. Using the same brush, create two short dashes slanting down to create two eyebrows for the little man. And cause he's cheeky like that, add a red tongue by dotting it with a dotting tool. Then dot a small white dot on the eyes to give more sparkle and life. Moving on with a pointer, paint this in red. And we're gonna use a large dotting tool in black to create six large dots, two columns, three rows. Then using white polish with a clear large dotting tool, dot on above the black dots but slightly to the top left. This will be the highlight of the building block. Then we are going over it one more time in red with another clean large dotting tool. Dot right in the center covering the white part that is near the black shadow. Then your red lego building block is done. The middle finger will be the same steps as the pointer just that it will be a yellow building block. Paint your nail yellow and this time the shadow will be orange. Dot 6 orange dots two columns, three rows again, then dot over it in white slightly to the top left, and over it again in yellow right in the middle. Your yellow building block is done. Now it's the ring finger's turn. I'm painting it the same sky blue as the thumb, then paint less than half of the bottom part of the nail in two coats of yellow. Now using your nail art brush or striper brush in black, draw a stroke slightly over the face for the girl's fringe, then another one on the other side like an upside down V. Then create the shape of the hair and fill in in black. Also create a side ponytail and fill that in. So she's so cool and she's got colorful hair. Using your brush on neon pink, paint a stroke of pink slightly above the hairline following the shape of the fringe. Then do another stroke in bright blue right under the pink one. Then give her eyes with small dotting tool in black polish. And using the brush in black, softly create two little dashes for eyelashes. Then two curved lines above her eyes for her eyebrows. Then with pink polish on nail art brush, just paint a thick dash for her lips. You can also use dotting tool for this. Then dot small white dot on the eyes to give more sparkle and life. For the mini pinky, I am drawing this coffee icon. If you prefer, you can just do another building block. Start by painting your nail white and using black polish on your nail art brush, paint a cup shape with a handle. Just take your time with this. Then, paint two slightly bent skinny rectangles like fries above the cup. Then because this cup is so cute, we'll give it a face! After that, we're basically done. So just put on your favorite top coat on all your nails so it's all shiny and protected. I hope you enjoyed watching this tutorial. If you decide to make a recreation of this, do show me. I'd love to see. If you enjoyed this, do a thumbs up this video. If you haven't already, subscribe for weekly videos. And feel free to click the link above for last week's 
romantic vintage lacy floral nails. Thanks for watching! Bye!